we were excited about the Belmont Derby. Uh, we both liked to analyze it, but in the Belmont Oaks, whoo, there's a lot of Phillies that could win this race. It's just, it's, it's not only deep, talented, but it's wide open. Um, do you want to start with Toinette or Paved or maybe uh, La Senor or how about uh, Significant Format, The Way I Am, Athena, uh, I'm not sure how to say her name, Fatal Bear, uh, Capa, Capa Temptress. I'll let you figure out who you want to start with among those many very, very capable three-year-old turf fillies. Yeah, and what Brian's trying to tell you folks is that, that this million-dollar race is loaded and, uh, you know, folks, Brian and I don't talk about it, uh, who we like before we do the shows. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, uh, where we end up, uh, where we end up on this one. But I mean, I guess, Brian, we probably have to start the discussion with the West Coast uh, Philly paved. Um, um, she's certainly going to be one of the favorites, I would think. Brian, you're better at uh, at the line making than I. So. You'll, you can talk about that a little bit. Um, Paved, if you remember, folks, early uh, earlier in the spring, won the El Camino Real uh, on the artificial surface on the Kentucky Derby Trail against the boys. Um, but, you know, I think it's pretty clear that this horse is, uh, is best on the turf. And, and her last race in the honeymoon at Santa Anita Park was – was super impressive for trainer uh, Michael McCarthy, who used who at one time was an assistant for uh, Todd Pletcher. She certainly is in uh, is a factor in there. And then there's Toinette, a uh, lightly raced filly from the barn of Neil Drysdale, uh, who has done some really nice things in her starts. She's beaten Russian full, rushing fall. She's beaten La Signare, who's in the race. Uh, Toinette is a horse that I like a lot in there. Brian, where do you want to go from here? Yeah, Matt, I'll, I'll start with the two you were talking about. Paved, the daughter of Quality Road. I mean, in the El Camino Real Derby, she beat the boys. Uh, that race only looks better with Blended Citizen coming to New York and Turfway Park uh, and running nice races. Uh, then uh, she's not been the most consistent filly, but uh, she's run some big turf races out in Santa Anita. The last was the honeymoon, and that was certainly a strong performance. She'll get uh, a firm turf here at Belmont, which I have a feeling she'll like as well. So certainly a threat, as is Toinette. Yeah, Neil Drysdale's filly. I saw her win at Churchill Downs, as you mentioned. Rushing Fall was still undefeated at the time. She was the... Uh, the head of the three-year-old Philly turf division, but Toinette rolled by her late in the Edgewood. So another with a big shot. I'm a little, uh, I'm almost sheepish saying this, but I think for me, the biggest race, because there's just so many good Phillies coming from so many different places, was the Wonder Again. And that's where you had La Senor for uh, uh, Brian Lynch uh, uh, take to the lead and hold off the favorite significant form for Chad Brown. Both of these horses look like the real deal to me. I think I think you're going to get the favorite coming out of the wonder again, Matt. You asked me about the odds. This is one of those races where no one should be under three to one, and you should have six or seven fillies, eight to one or less. Just one of those races. Uh, La Senor, as you said, was beaten uh, uh, first start in America, but I liked what she did at Belmont. She's probably my top pick here, uh, a very tepid top pick, uh, hoping she can do twice, uh, do it again after the wonder again win. A little speed, I think, is not a bad thing. But uh, the Philly she beat that day, significant form, certainly capable of turning the tables. Yeah, Brian. And, and you know, in that race, uh, in the wonder again, she took the field wire to wire. Joel Rosario did a masterful job of controlling the pace out front and was able to hold off, like you said, a very, very talented, significant form in there. But that doesn't mean that... Uh, that that horse has to run on the lead in, in her past performances. She's also run from uh, back in the pack also. And and I like the versatility uh, uh, that, that she's shown in, in those past races, but, uh, and we've talked about significant form in there. We've got horses in here coming from Europe. Uh, Chipolata is making a first start for Christophe Clement here. Um, First time Lasix, has run well in France, representing West Point Thoroughbreds. 
that one could uh, that one could do well. Also, Capla Tempris um, is also coming over from France, where she won a Grade One. Uh, sorry, where she ran fourth in a Grade One, but also as a two-year-old won the won the Natalma up in Canada, coming over for trainer uh, Marco Botti, talented horse, uh, the O'Brien, Coolmore, Ryan Moore, first time connections um, for Athena, but that one's only uh, run a maiden race. And also keeping in mind that this is also going 10 furlongs. Yeah, Matt, actually of the Euros, I think the Clement Philly uh, has been running against the lesser competition, although, uh, you know, first time Lake Six, that French one uh, could come over and, and uh, turn in a big performance for sure. But uh, Kapla Temptress, uh, she's done well in North America already, and she ran a very good race last time in the French, 1,000 guineas. So she's a threat. But I think the biggest threat is O'Brien and Moore because Athena is quickly improving. She, we know she already likes the distance. Uh, that was a big race last time she ran against older mares, good older she can uh, duplicate uh, again i think she's a major threat now that was only six days ago so uh it'll be interesting to see if she does indeed make the trip and is in uh this race but uh, I, I think athena of the euros is the uh, biggest threat a and and one more uh european in import matt uh fatal a bear uh she won a couple starts ago beating paved out in california and last time she saw her saddle slip so i think the honeymoon for her is a throw out Yes, and there's also the way I am in there for Graham Motion. My feeling on that one I, is that that horse is probably more of a miler in there. Um, we take a look at this entire field. I guess I'm leaning uh, towards the two that I mentioned early on, to Toinette and, and La Signare, and because you, took, uh, you, you made your pick, I'll go with Toinette in there. Okay, and I'll go with La Senor, one of uh, a few French breads in here. And yeah, the way I am, uh, what a nice filly she is. She just rallies every time. And uh, no surprise to see her run a big race. The Pen Oaks, of course, she was flying and uh, just missed in there. What a great uh, field, deep field. Uh, don't take low odds on anyone in here. Maybe significant form is favored, even though she got beat last time in the Wonder again. But uh, it looks like a lot of five, five to one, six to one fillies. And uh, beware of O'Brien and Moore again. Matt, 